how to use canva for beginners hi guys in this video i will tell you how you guys can use canva as a complete beginner we're gonna be going over everything in canva and i'll tell you exactly how you guys can use canva get templates create really good designs thumbnails posters facebook posts whatever it is that you guys want to create I will tell you exactly how you guys can make that so firstly when you guys come on to canva.com this is the dashboard that you guys are gonna see so over here in front of you you have a search bar and over here you guys can type in what you want to make so for example if you are here to make a youtube thumbnail you can just simply type in over here youtube and then type in thumbnail over here if you're here to make a facebook post simply type in facebook post over here so exactly like this whatever it is that you guys want to create simply type that in over here and then below that you also have some templates to get started with so for example if you want to make a presentation you can just simply click on this box and it's gonna enable you to create a presentation and similarly they have many different options over here so that you guys could get started right away and not have to search around now below that you guys can see all your previous work if you guys have any so now let's get started so for example let's say you want to make a youtube thumbnail what do you do you simply type in youtube over here and then after that you type in thumbnail now once you guys type in thumbnail you guys have many different recent searches come up simply pick the one that is the most relevant to your search and then after that you guys are going to see so many different templates come up so over here canva provides you these ready-made templates that you guys can literally just click on them and you guys can modify text change images change colors and you guys can simply use these images copyright free for your youtube videos now similarly it's the same process for any other stuff as well so for example if you want to make an instagram post you simply type an instagram post over here and then after that you guys can see that you have so many different templates come up and of course you guys can choose any instagram template from over here that you guys want on the left side you guys also have filters so if you want to let's say only see templates that are either minimalistic modern simple or elegant you can simply check its box and you will be able to only view those templates and then below that of course you can also choose the theme as well and also the color so now from over here if you guys want to proceed with any template well then for that just make sure that that template should be free if it's not free well then you'll have to purchase the premium plan for canva and the way that you can tell if a template is paid or not is by simply taking a look for this crown if you guys see this crown next to any template at the bottom right that template is a professional template so if you guys want to choose any template you can just simply click on that template and canva is going to take you guys over to another page and now over here you guys have that template in front of you so now from over here you guys can just simply double click on any text and you guys can type in whatever you want you guys can type in any text any numbers whatever it is and you guys can type that in over here up top you have the font options you guys can make the text bold italic underlined uppercase lowercase and also you guys can align it and you guys can also create bullet points or numbered lists as well you can even increase or decrease letter spacing or line spacing as well so you guys have all of these options and then of course up top you also have the option to change up the font of any particular text on canva so on the left side you guys have the option to basically choose any font now from over here i'm gonna basically choose this font because i personally really like this font but of course you guys can pick any font from over here like they have hundreds and hundreds of font and of course you guys can also type in up top and you guys can find exactly the font that you guys need now once you guys have found the font simply click on that and once you have your font ready now from over here you guys can also decrease the size of your text to make sure that it fits or or increase the size now from the left side let's take a look at all the other options that we have so right now on the left side we are in the templates section now in the template section it's the exact same as the search bar on canva you guys can type in templates over here and you guys can add pages from the bottom and then you guys can work on multiple templates at once now this is very helpful if you guys are working on any presentation then on the left side you also have the option for elements now the elements section is the most powerful tool on canva why do i say that well it's because using the element section you guys can literally create everything out of nothing so what i mean by that that is let's open up another page and over here on the left side we have elements we have lines and shapes 
we have graphics, we have stickers, we have photos, and we also have videos, audios, effects, and so much more. So now from over here, let's say I want to create a gym animation. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna tell Canva what I need, and Canva is gonna give me that. So I'll type in over here gym, and then after that, I can see so many elements come up. So I have a person which is already animated, I have pictures, I have graphics as well, I have avatars, and also I have a person on a treadmill, I have a bicep animation which I think looks really cool. So you guys can get so many different options. So let's say I want to use this animation, I will simply drag it and drop it over here and I can now place it anywhere, I can resize it as well and I can just make it look as cool as I want it to look. So now from over here what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna basically paste this animation over here. Now once I paste this animation over here, now I'm gonna grab a few more animations. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this character, I'll place him over here. So once I've done that, now we are done with our animations. Now let's take a look at the backgrounds. So for the backgrounds, I can also type in over here gym picture. So essentially you guys can tell Canva exactly what you need and it's gonna give you exactly that. So now over here we have gym pictures. So I'm gonna basically pick a picture that I think is gonna be good for this particular animation. So I think this one looks really nice. So I'll simply drag and drop it. And then as soon as I drag and drop it, I can resize it to make sure that it fits along the screen perfectly. Now once I've done that, now I can just simply right click on the image and I can send it backward so it's not in front of the animations and now as you guys can see that we have a very nice looking background. Now right now the background is not blurred so if you guys want to edit these images you guys can also click on edit image and then that's going to give you many different options to edit images as well. You guys can change the brightness, you guys, you guys can change the contrast, the saturation and also the filters as well. So right now what we need is the blur option which is over here but of course you guys can also apply different filters, many different effects such as glow, drop shadow and also change up the angle as well. So now, so now from over here I'm going to click on blur. And then as soon as I click on blur, it's going to blur out the image. And then over here, I have to just simply click on plus and I can increase the intensity of the blur. So now from over here, I will just simply adjust it. So now I have the brush size as well. So now from over here, I am going to blur what I need to blur. So I'm going to blur everything, the whole image by simply hovering my camera pointer along the whole image. So once I do that, now my image has been blurred and I'll click on done from the top. Now, now once I've done that, I'll click on apply from the bottom and now my image has been blurred. So now from over here, as you guys can see that this particular image now has blur in it. Now from the left side, I can also of course import in different elements as well. But for now, I'm just going to leave it at this. Now on the left side, you guys can also drag and drop text as well. You guys have so many cool looking texts over here and you guys can simply drag and and drop these text. So for example, you guys can just simply pick the text that you guys like and just simply drag it and drop it over here. And then now from over here, just simply select it all. And then after that, you guys can type in join a gym or whatever it is that you guys want to type it in. So I'm gonna make it smaller and I will just put it at the corner. So once I do that, now I have changed it. So now we have a very nice looking video and we just made this in a few minutes. Now of course, the more creative you are, the more benefit you guys can get out of Canva. Now on the left side, you guys can also add in photos over here. You guys can also add in different types of fonts by simply dragging and dropping them. And you guys can also add in audio as well by simply dragging and dropping the audio over here. So guys, these were the basic features that you guys need to know to get started with Canva. Now on the left side, you guys can also put in your own videos over here and you guys can edit those videos as well. But that's going to take a very comprehensive tutorial, which I'll be sure to make in the future. Then below that, you guys can also add in plain backgrounds as well as well if you guys don't like these pictures you guys can also get pictures from the background feature as well and of course you guys can drag and drop your logos over here to have them in your video so guys once you are done with your picture or your video simply click on the top right where it says share and then after that simply click on download and then now from over here simply choose the pages that you guys want to download once you guys have chosen the pages or the page that you want to download simply choose the format 
and then after that simply click on download now you guys are gonna have this video saved on your computer and you guys can simply republish it anywhere on the internet and you will be able to use it anywhere anyhow that you guys want to thank you so much for watching take care till next time goodbye